that pace being set by the Maryland offense which rolled up 311 yards of offense in that first half. Three turnovers combined. All of them were costly as is so often the case. Maryland turnover was an interception thrown in the end zone going in by Danny O'Brien and then the fumble returned for a touchdown by the Maryland defense right at the end of the half. He's, he's played nicely here in the first half. Nick Ferrara kicks off for Maryland to Brandon McGee and Lamar Miller. Maryland in their brand new uniforms that are generating a lot of conversation on social media tonight. It's Lamar Miller. Good kickoff return. Out to the 38 yard line where Matt Robinson made the tackle. 34 yard run back. Here's Heather. Defense. Looking at a Miami offense that spreads five wide receivers for Stephen Morris, who looked left and couldn't throw it, then does throw it left. Philip Dorsett, very speedy, true freshman. Self reported that, and they've administered their own punishment of uh, two and a half less hours per week. So they're working in a 17 and a half hour week movement. Very detail oriented. They get a plan, they stick to it. He will continue to do that. Play action pass. For Morris and a bullet for a first down out to Tommy Streeter. Morris to be able to make the throw. They're across midfield to the Maryland 43. Morris might be changing the play. And it's a deep handoff to Lamar Miller. A nice cut to the inside. And he has eight, perhaps eight and a half. Second and two upcoming. The tackle made by Matt line Robinson. To take control of the line of scrimmage. And it looks like that's what they're doing. Three seniors, a junior, and a sophomore on that line. Here's Maurice Hagens again. And he has the first down. Ben Fishman last year as the quarterback's coach with the Seattle Seahawks in the NFL. He has nine years of NFL coaching experience. Morris. Under duress from Tate, throws another rocket to Tommy Streeter for a first down. That was a bullet. He got pressure, and he, he could feel it coming, but he stayed on his read and delivered the ball exactly where it had to be. Well, that's and holding. Watch how he stays with it, though. Ball's right where it has to be, really well delivered. Ten out of thirteen. Trying to make the statement that even when Jacory Harris is eligible after tonight's he game, has serving experience. Game. Stephen Morris doesn't. But Stephen Morris, as you see him, you can see where we have. He's got a big arm. You've seen that. You've seen him deliver the big throws. He has mobility with the feet, and he has to be able to be a little bit more patient in his progression. And by that I mean sometimes he wants to force the ball down the field. He keeps his eyes down the field, which is good at times. But other times, when it's not there, you have to be able to dump it. He's had open receivers down the field. Now, this is good. This was, this was the one right here, though, where he made a mistake. The, the linebacker sunk in coverage and gave it up underneath, but he trusted his arm and zeroed in and made the throw. He's three for three on this opening drive of the second half. For 38 yards, first and 10 Miami trying to reclaim the lead. Miller with some running room after the toss down to the 10. It'll be second down and two. Dexter McDougal made the tackle. Maurice Hagan's the lone back. And they give it to the fullback again. He is a punishing runner and he has a first down. That's a very high recommendation. He's done a nice job tonight calling the plays. James. On first and goal, got a yard to the five. Second and goal. Morris pursued by Milano. Decides to run, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. One thing that I've seen all night long is the receivers from both sides of the ball doing a nice job of blocking and in the transition game. 
And that time he got Maurice Hagens, who's out ostensibly for a pass, realizes that he's is going to convert, does a nice job of getting a block, gets him in for the score. Now the extra point for the lead again for the Canes, and it's good off the foot of Jake Wyclaw. Kickoff. Jake will boot it away to Jeremiah Wilson and Justice Pickett, two freshmen back deep. It's Pickett. And he gets stood up at the 22 by Gianni Paul. Well, they're Maryland. testing their, their discipline of scheme. Play action to begin the second half. O'Brien threw it off his back foot under pressure. Contact downfield with Ronnie Tyler and Von Telemach, and it's a play on from the officials. It's been a nice presence in their secondary. They're playing without eight suspended players. If you just joined us, including five defensive starters. Important third down for Maryland. Make it again. And rather, it's O'Brien after the fake. And there's the longest run of his career, and it might be a late hit out of bounds. That's what Randy Edsel wants on the sideline. He's he started it inside and then finished it out of bounds. O'Brien to Kevin Dorsey near another first down. He said he sees the whole field. He makes very good decisions. Very patient. Quinton McCree gets driven back. Raymond Buchanan has had enough of those short passes, and he's been able to deliver the ball. Three-yard loss on the last play. O'Brien going deep down the near sideline, and a great battle for the ball. It's incomplete. Brandon McGee, stride for stride in coverage with Kevin Dorsey. And McGee might have some cramps. But McGee got right on his hip and ran with a nice discipline with the eyes. He looks when the receiver looks. Excellent coverage. Crowd's booing, but if anything, it was Dorsey who was interfering with McGee who had the inside position. He's been very good. You saw his numbers on third down passing. As a team, they're five out of nine. This is a long one. Third down and 13, the Miami 40. Maggot will have to do it with run after the catch. And he loses his helmet. Extended the ball across the yellow line. I don't think he actually got there in his own territory last year late in the game against Pittsburgh while the head coach of Connecticut worked out for him. Might have got him to the Fiesta Bowl. Not as much on this play, but they have the first down with O'Brien on the keep. They were big Baltimore Oriole fans, Colt fans, Baltimore Bullet fans back in the day. And he's long had his eye on this job. And he thinks it can be elevated to the highest levels of college football. Need to get the local talent to stay in the area and play for Maryland. Megat's a local who stayed. He runs for seven down to the 20. Local kids here in the state of Maryland, he will win and win big. O'Brien throws far sideline to Megat. First down at the 16 yard line. He's coming off a nine and four year. Here comes Justice Pickett down to the 10 yard line. Mike Williams. Transfer from Wake Forest made the tackle. Here's, Second and four. Here's that bunch package again. It forces you to, be, to, to back up. They throw it into the bunch, and Mike Williams was ready for it. Ronnie Tyler, the Short catch. field again, red zone, third and long. Red zone was good to them last year, not so much tonight. This is where they bogged down all night long. O'Brien, little bubble to Ronnie Tyler. Trying to weave for the first down. He can't break the tackle of Von Telemach. Excellent tackle by Telemac having a very good game as the junior from Long Beach, California. Trying another shorty from 28 yards. Left hash mark to give Maryland the lead. Right down the middle. So again, Maryland drives. Again, they bog down as they get close to the goal line. This time, thanks to a great tackle in space by Von Telemac. Two point lead for the Terps, third quarter. A back and forth affair now. Nick Ferrara to kick off after his field goal. Just gave the Terps a two point lead. Down to the speedy freshman, Philip Dorsett. Didn't find much running room. He was pulled down by Avery Bush Graham. and Jimmy Johnson right now in a great battle atop the NASCAR standings. 
First and ten Miami Lamar Miller bounces off one hit but couldn't get away from David Meckel after he absorbed the blow from Demetrius Hartsfield. Five wide receivers for the Hurricanes. Maryland rushed five. Philip Dorsett spins ahead. Good job just to go. A fast moving third quarter. Each team's had a long drive to begin the second half. Morris on the run now. Got to about the 28 before they turned him 14. Miami from its own 28. Trailing by two, final three minutes of the third quarter. And again, movement. Delay of game. Offense. Five yards. Still third down. And that came after the delay of game. <laughs> Maryland. Andy Edsel said the crowd needs to be a factor. They might have been there. And what Maryland is doing now, and that, what they were doing on that last third and long, was they were going to force the quarterback to have to be patient. They were going to play in the zone and get their drops and force him to have to throw underneath. Let's see if they try that again here. Fifth penalty against Miami. They averaged eight per game last year. Wow. All kinds of confusion, but there's a whistle here for another delay. Play clock had run out. And Sean, now the crowd knows it's a factor. Lamar Miller to the 26, well short of the first down, 16 yards short. The three penalties on that possession for Miami, the chop block, the two delay penalties. Darren Drakeford made the third down tackle for Maryland. And Al Golden's team will punt with under two minutes to go in the third quarter. To move the ball up and down the field, have been able to get six. Dalton Botts got the punt off. Tony Logan, one of the best in the country. And he swarmed under immediately. The punt very well covered by A.J. Highsmith on ABC. First and ten, Maryland. A minute and a half to go, third quarter. Terps leading by two. David Meggett straight ahead. Very close to a first down at the 45 yard line. Sal Conaboy is the backup center in there. Make it to the 49 yard line. Here's Heather. Powder, Brandon McGee in the locker room right now, continuing to cramp. They've been doing icy hot stretching. We'll see if he can come back in for them. Meggett got pinballed around, got to the 50, a gain of one, third down and five to come. And they are a little bit fortunate because it was much warmer before the rain started late in the afternoon. The temperature kickoff is just 72 degrees, but it is muggy. And they're playing under game conditions for the first time. Third and five, and they're going to let the quarter roll out. Big third down when we come back. Mark D'Onofrio, the defensive coordinator, looking for the kind of intensity he brought as a player. End of three. Maryland 23. Miami 21. Season opener for these two teams under new coaches. And both appear to be well coached tonight.